Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about policyholder directed upgrades. How many times when you're putting a house back together does the customer want an upgrade to what they had before? In this example, we're going to talk about countertops, going from a tile countertop that was there initially to a granite countertop as the upgrade. This paid when incurred tool shows you not only what the difference is between what they would like and what the insurance initially allowed for for what was there, but you can also input a budget that shows your customer uh, how much you are coming in or over or under budget. So let's take a look. First and foremost, we're on our exact tax test estimate. And we're going to go back to the coverage loss section under claim info. Note we are in the Cario profile. We're going to go back to dwelling, coverage A. And we're going to come here to edit options. And last time we asked for code upgrades. But this time we're going to put in policyholder upgrades. Now this does not naturally show up. So in order to add this, you've got to come down here to the smart list under the additional coverages. And to give you an example of what that'll look like, we're going to hit add. And we're going to hit uh, Policyholder 2 Upgrades. And under Type in the drop down, we're going to go with Upgrade. It's not a code upgrade, a green upgrade, it's just an upgrade. Um, and then we'll press OK. And in this case, I'm just going to go back to the normal policy up upgrades. Now, last time, uh, we'll, we looked at the aggregate uh, in terms of policy limits and things along those code upgrade limits. In this case, the aggregate here will be the policyholder's budget. So let's say they have numerous upgrades that they'd like to do and have a budget of $10,000. You can input that $10,000. For this case specifically, let's say they have a $1,000 budget for upgrading uh, a certain area of the kitchen countertops that they would like to go to. We're going to leave this as checked under the additional amount of insurance. And we're going to hit OK. And then I'm going to come over here to the estimate items. I'll quickly stop by sketch to show you the same thing. And we're going to go to the estimate items in room number one. Now I already have two line items in here. The first being the counter tile, countertop tile that was initially there at the time of the loss. And this one being the granite or marble upgrade. As noted, both activity codes are just on the replacement side. And for our calculations, we're assuming this is a six foot counter with a two, uh, two feet, two inches on the depth. Note that most cabinets are two feet deep, but there's a little bit of an over overhang about two inches on the kitchen cabinet. So don't forget that overhang. Um, first and foremost, we're going to come down here and we're going to go to coverage on our countertop granite or mawa. This is the upgrade line item. And we're going to change that coverage to the policyholder upgrade. This is what they've asked for as a replacement on the put bag. And we are going to go to associations and immediately associate it with the initial one that was allowed for by the insurance. And then we're going to hit OK. And as you can notice, the 972 of the countertop granite or marble is crossed out and the countertop tile is left there. Both are brownish. We looked at this last week. Let's look at how this is interpreted on the reports here. When I go to a summary, rough draft report, you'll see the summary for the dwelling. What the insurance allowed under cover J is $351.11 for the initial countertop, tile countertop that was there. Then, upon installation, when you are completed, the upgrade, the difference between the tile countertop and the granite countertop is $680.09. That will not be owed or paid until after the installation occurs of the granite countertop. And as we talked about here, the homeowners had a budget of $1,000. This is saying that the $680.09 is underneath their budget and there's no overage at all. Let's go back and change under claim info and coverage loss and then edit options. Let's go change that budget to $500. To show you what it would look like, I'm going to go back now to print and go to view. If you were to come in over budget, it'll say you are $180.09 over budget. So this provides you transparency, working with the homeowner's constraints of when you're trying to upgrade what they had that may be different from at the time of loss. Uh, this is this week's Exact Tax video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more Exact Tax every Thursday. And we'll see you next week.